Good morning, everybody. My name is Audrey Moody. I'm process engineer in Fluid Air. And today I have the pleasure to introduce you Electrostatic Straw Dryer, the last innovation of uh, Fluid Air to work or to dry uh, with thermosensitive compound. And we hope to find a good place in agriculture. So what is the agriculture challenges? It was presented before. The fact that the global population set up to reach 9.6 billion by 2050 and also more and more demand to reduce agriculture chemical use and moreover uh, to have uh, pesticide resistance issues. So today I propose you to, uh, to present you two responses uh, using the Poradra. It's just to give you an idea. Poradra it's electrostatic spray dryer. It's just to give you an idea that we can do and how we can help you uh, to dry your, po your powder with active compound inside. So the first one is to apply bioformated plant beneficial microorganisms like rhizobacteria, mycorrhizal fungi, roots, endophytic fungi, or also to use essential oil to repel pest insects like linanol, timanol, eugenol, or also anetol. So when, when you choose and when you find the best, we say active compound, how you can stabilize and storage them. So for that, the idea is to use microencapsulation. Uh, what is really interesting with microencapsulation is that you have a protection of your active compound, for example, during the storage, and after you can choose your control release, for example, in the soil, and uh, also in function of your pH, of your humidity. Sometimes, but maybe not in your case, it's interesting to mass test odor and color. And something very interesting in case, for example, for, uh, for essential oil, is to convert liquid to solid. So this is the structuration. You have two kinds of microencapsulation. You obtain uh, a capsule when you have you have your active really inside, really well encapsulated, we say encapsulated and coat with a, with a matrix. Matrix helps to have a good protection and also uh, we do the choice in function of your control release that you want. And also you have another case where you have a, an homogeneous repartition between your matrix and your shell. In this case, this is sphere. So um, to obtain or to do encapsulation, uh, you have different process, chemical, physical, chemical, and physical. And today I will really focus on evaporation and mean evaporation, mean drying. In industrial scale today, we have two process, two processes to dry. The first one is the conventional spray dryer. Uh, it's really well used uh, due to the fact that it's a continuous process. It's a large scale process really used in field and food industry and also in pharmaceutical industry. Uh, but in case of sensitive compound like uh, microorganism or essential oil, uh, you have to work at high temperature. And in case of essential oil, you have a really high evaporation of, uh, of the volatile organic compound or you don't have a good viability of your microorganisms when you use microorganisms. Moreover, the particle size that you obtain, it's really small and you need most of the time a granulation to increase them. So we start when we obtain the particle size obtained, it's 10 micron, around 10 micron, and you have to increase to 100, 200, 500 uh, micron. So you need uh, another step. Another hand, when you have sensitive compounds, the best to use it's a freeze drying so like that you work at low temperature it's great uh, that i say you to protect uh, active comp thermosensitive compound like bacteria uh, but you obtain a cake and this cake you have to to mill it so that means that you have to add uh, another step it's a batch process more most of time you have to wait two hour two days sorry to uh, to obtain your final product and it's really energy consuming if you do a comparison with conventional spray dryer it's four times more so the idea of fluid air was to develop a new process 
uh, with the advantage of both of force drying and uh, conventional super dryer. That means working at lower temp temperature than the conventional super dryer to protect the active compound, really sensitive, uh, thermosensitive during the drying to obtain a high yield of, of volatile organic compound or microorganism at the end. And working continuously because we have more and more demand to work continuously and also to assure to have a large scale equipment. So how it's work? So uh, today, uh, just a short comparison with a conventional spray dryer. When we work with a conventional spray dryer, uh, you, you start by a phase where you are in an evaporation of fluid water. But at one moment, you obtain a crunchy shell formation. The same when you cook a cake in the oven, you have uh, the crunchy sh um, shell formation and it could be burned on. Also, it's really hard uh, to the water keep in the, in the middle to go to the surface. So that's why we have increased the temperature. When we apply an electrostatic charge, this is the case of electrostatic spray dryer. What happens is we help the water to move at the surface. The water. Uh, we, why we say water? Because it's a more polar sensor that we know, and the electrostatic effect helps the polar compound to really move to the surface. So for that, you don't need to apply high temperature to have an evaporation of your water because your water is at the surface, and moreover, you create a thin layer of water that is protect your active all during the drying. That means that your active compound only see the outlet temperature and this outlet temperature most of time is between 30 and uh, 30 to 60 80 degrees c so it will depend of your of your compound so it's really great for sensitive compound you have a good protection of them and uh, you don't have a denaturation degradation and moreover uh, we do the choice also to use nitrogen to avoid oxidation of your product if you go a little bit far away uh, I say you we play on the polarity of the compound so that means that we can also do the stratification of the compound so in the case of oil no polar oil so it's really easy to encapsulate uh, encapsulate it because it's no polar you choose a little bit more polar carrier so like that you have you create a really large uh, quantity of carrier like a coating and you, you like that you have really high efficiency encapsulation to compare when you have an homogeneous repartition between your carrier your matrix and uh, and your hole that you can see here you have hole as a surface so that means that you can have an evaporation it's the same for bacteria so that means that you have a good protection of your product and you can increase also the quantity of the product that you encapsulate I say you, we really work with low temperature. Uh, we, when we compare the conventional spray dryer, what uh, we have has the same moisture content, that means between 2 and 5% of moisture content in the phenol powder. And also, if we check the water activity, we are below 0 0.2. I wanted to show you two cases of study. Uh, sorry, we didn't start uh, yet to work on agriculture and it's also a good uh, time for you uh, to uh, and we were really really interesting to to work with uh, agriculture application uh, today I've selected an application in microorganism for human and pro probiotics encapsulation and that we want to do in this study is to compare with the freeze wire with freeze wire we know it's the best um, drying system for for bacteria when it's really sensitive and we wanted to compare um, the stability and the viability on of the lactobacillus plantarium with the freeze drying and electrostatic spray dryer and that we can see in both graph it's the fact that we have the same viability same same stability over the time than a freeze dryer that we can see and in this case a little bit higher in case of electrostatic spray dryer it's really that we wanted to show the fact that we have the same result but we using really less energy for time less and working in continuous if we focus a little bit more on volatile organic uh, or volatile organic compound uh, 
I chose acetaldehyde because it's really volatile and it was to compare with a conventional spray dryer. So if we estimate that uh, we we have six percent, uh, we have one hundred percent in the emulsion. So we have six percent after uh, drying in conventional spray dryer to compare with uh, polar dry. A little bit of fast on this one is just to show you that we have black points show that we have oil at the surface and we have a perfect microencapsulation with really less uh, black black spots at the surface for the conventional of our as a prosthetic so the fact to use an electrostatic effect is the first energy and like that we can work at lower temperature we have a good protection of the thermosensitive compound we, so and also with the stratification we can encapsulate we have a superior encapsulation I didn't show you, but we can also granulate to increase the particle size, or it's one process. It's a continuous process that I tell you we use nitrogen, but we have a recirculation of nitrogen to be sure that we don't use so much uh, utilities and it's really scalable. Thank you for, for your attention. So you can see we have a small uh, laboratory uh, model to go up uh, to industrial model. I wish you uh, a good uh, a good a good trade show, and uh, you can find all information in the website, and you can send me also an email if you need more information about uh, Polar Dry. Thank you very much.